You have some strips of colored paper on your desk. They're about an inch wide. They look like this. I want you to find one that you would like to use for the torso of your body. Just take one strip. This is one head. I'm going to mark it with my pencil. Put a little dot there. Need a good pencil. Put a little dot there, and then I'm going to measure again. And I'm going to put a dot at the bottom. With my scissors, I'm going to cut my paper that's two heads long, like that. And I'm going to put it on my paper as a part of my torso. That's my torso. That's the part that goes from here to here. The next thing we're going to do is legs. How many heads long are our legs? Look over here. One, two, three. OK. So watch what I do here. I want my legs now to be, oh, I think I'm going to use yellow ones. So I'm going to measure one and mark it, two and mark it, and three and mark it. And we cut that piece, and that's one leg. Looks kind of long, doesn't it? But this, that's the right proportion. One leg. OK, now, boys and girls, we need two legs, don't we? So we're going to make some skinny legs. Watch what happens. We're going to cut that one piece that you just did. We know that both legs are the same length, right? OK, we're going to cut right up the center. So like this, we're going to open our scissors wide, right in the middle, and cut till the scissors close. Open wide again. Cut till the scissors close. Open wide again. Cut till the scissors close. Open wide again. Cut till the scissors close. So quite up the center. Now we have two legs, don't we? So I have my two legs right here that are three heads long. I'm going to put them one on top of the other. And then I'm going to fold them in half, just like that. Makes it really easy, doesn't it? And then I'll take my scissors and go just like that. Now I have a leg with a, an upper leg and a lower leg, upper leg and a lower leg. And I'm going to have some fun with action. I'm going to put one, this guy's going to run for me, OK? And I know that when I run, one of my legs is sticking back. So this one's going to be up this way. Out front. And the bottom part of that leg is going to be down, touching the ground so that I don't fall. And my character is doing what right now? Running, and you could tell by the way I put the legs at angles, didn't I? So now put your legs on your person, cut them in half, and put them on your person there, just lay them out. Okay, what are we missing? Well, we're missing arms, okay? So how long is each part of the arm? Okay, we have from here to here, and one from here to here. So that makes how many heads? Two. Two, okay. So we'll do just like we did with our legs. We'll measure one, put a mark, measure the second one, put a mark, and that's how long my arms are going to be. So I'll cut that off at two heads. And boys and girls, we're going to do the same thing with this as we did with the legs. We're going to cut them long ways like this. If your head is cut out, raise it up for me. OK, good. Some of you decided to stick with the white ones. Some of you are going to have different colors. OK, I'm going to put my head 
right up here on my action figure like this. And since I'm running kind of fast, I'm my head's forward. And I'm going to leave you a little space for my neck here just for the fun of it, okay? And now I want you to arrange your action figure to do any action that you want. Okay, now the next part is I want you to glue your figure onto the paper the way you want it to be. Once your figure is glued in place the way you want it, then you may use any of the other scrap paper that you have to create the bat, the ball, a tutu. Think about all those things that will help be the props or the costumes of your character and have some fun creating a character using those. You've done a beautiful job today. I'm very, very impressed with what you've done. You've followed the directions. It looks like you've had some fun, and we've learned a couple of things. How much of the body is our head for the most part? One six. Let's say it nice and loud and clearly, everybody. One six. All right, how many sixths is it from the shoulder to the hip? How many sixths? Two, Two sixths. Two sixths, okay. And from our hips to the floor, how many sixths is it? Okay, now, hard question. Two sixths equals how much of the whole body? One third. Oh, you're quick. One third. And three sixths from our hips to the floor is how much of our body? One half. You've got it. Terrific. For a lesson plan and a list of today's supplies, or to see this episode of Art Is Online, go to kvpt.org and click on Art Is. Art Is was made possible by a grant from the Bonner Family Foundation in support of the arts and education.